Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, this is a video that I wanted to do because I record a lot of videos in my laptops. Uh, this is a new Mac that I got, it's a Mac M1. Uh, with the 16 gigs of memory, this model is not really out there in the market yet, but I got it uh, from the Apple website. So I wanted to start doing my videos in Mac and uh, as you all know QuickTime is the way to go for Mac so this is the video that I'm doing right now I actually really clicked on uh, command shift and 5 to bring up the window and I said yes uh, but I cut the whole skin but the one problem that I face say I'm doing some video and there is some task that is gonna take a long time so I, I really need to pause but there is no really good way to pause the video and if I search the YouTube, there are hundreds of videos that will teach you like press escape, then option, then this and that and like try to trick the quick time to pause the video. But it works for some of the people, it doesn't work for the others. So this is the solution that I uh, found and this is, seems to be working great. And I just want to tell you what I did to uh, come to the setting that I'm going to use going forward to record videos. So OBS Studio, this is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. Uh, just go to the OBS project and just download this file and go through the standard installation. Okay, it will come and it will, it will be downloaded and you just go through it. And once you have it in your system, uh, you just need to open it up and and there is only one setting that I'm going to tell you that just need to you need to pay some attention. Uh, just once everything is downloaded and you've installed, uh, just click on the OBS Studio. And right now, currently, I'm using the 26.1.2 version. That's the latest one. So if I click on it, okay, uh, it's going to give us uh, this window. And I'm just going to click on the OBS. And it should bring up this particular window. That's the OBS window. And uh, if you see over here, okay, they have a, a, a really nice uh, UI. And over here, uh, what we want to do, we want to go to the settings first. Uh, you don't really need to change too much. You can uh, mess with this uh, if you like. Uh, stream, we are not really doing streaming. So just go to the studio. Uh, go to the output and uh, go to the recording mode uh, kind of make sure that you have both one and two audio tracks enabled that seems to be uh, working great if you are recording uh, using the Max uh, uh, inbuilt, inbuilt uh, 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 microphones and you really don't need anything over here if you want to change the recording format you can change it's up to you uh, the main thing that I wanted to show, uh, there was one setting uh, right over here. Okay, so this use stream encoder. This is the uh, default encoder. Okay, but if you're using the default en encoder, you see there's a really uh, a warning message. Recording cannot be paused if the recording encoder is set to use streaming encoder. So what I want you to do, I want you to change this and use any other encoder that you have. I'm, I'm, I have tested with the Apple VT H264 software encoder. And if I click on it and hit OK, it's all good. And the other thing that you need to do over here, you need to tell what is it that you want to uh, record. And you can add multiple different things. You could record the display, image, slideshow, a whole bunch of things. The thing that I already have here is the Windows Capture um, and uh, I have the Display Capture. I turned it off. You can turn it on if you like, but I turned it off and I'm going to I'm gonna just uh, get the Window Capture right here. Uh, and what we'll do, and at this time, you can start the recording right from here. And if you look at it, it's now actually started recording and here is the status, okay? And over here, if I move my mouse over there, it clearly states you can pause the recording. So I can pause the recording right here as well. Click on it. So you can see this particular OBS studio. My recording is now stopped. It's now paused. Okay. So you do your stuff, whatever you need. You come back and unpause this one. Move your, move your mouse back in there. Just hit on unpause. And look at that, it's uh, restarted recording your video again. 
and if you want to do this multiple times you can do it pause it unpause it and once you are completely done with the video you can hit on stop recording now the recording is now done and if you want to look at what you have recorded you just go to the file and click on so recordings and it will show up under the movie section and you can open up and uh, take a look at so this is the last one this is the just one that we have recorded it's uh, 8.5 mb and i can directly upload this to youtube and do whatever you want if you are if you have other things that you want to do with the video you can so what i i feel uh, there are a lot of videos where people are trying to mess with the uh, with the itune for some people it's a success if you uh, if you have success go ahead go for it uh, but if you're having trouble go with the obs studio it's uh, open source there is no logo or anything attached to it. it's simple to use the only thing that i again i told you uh, just make sure your setting and then your video uh, no output over here yeah the in it encoder is uh, set to something else uh, in a in a recording setting uh, your encoder cannot be the stream recorder if a stream recorder you cannot pause the video something else you will be hope this video is useful to you if you like it please subscribe and uh, uh, share with your friends who might have uh, such a need to record and pause uh, in a mac system again i'm using uh, apple macbook pro uh, m1 chip 16 gigs of memory have a great day. Enjoy your recording activities. Thank you for watching.